Hey guys, this is Ro. Someone requested a video on the mage class, so we started a new segment called Ro Ready to Learn? It's a more informative session, so I hope you guys learn a thing or two. And let's get started. So as you can see, I'm on the mage class traits page, and mine is completely filled out. Um, so let's start off with what is what makes a mage really good? Well, what it boils down to is a mage is best when it can use their abilities such as Meteor Strike, which in my opinion is, if not the best, it's tied for the best skill in the single target skill in the game. Because it's 3 to 6 hits of 50 ability power with the mage with the mage AP boost from the class trait, it becomes 60. So you're looking at 180 to 360 ability power. That's quite a wallop if you think about it. And Night Blitz, I would say if I remember correctly, is about 220. I have to look at that again, but if I remember right, that's what it is. Um, another good skill on mage is Skewered. 110 ability power and it can be done and it attacks twice so you're looking at another high damaging hit attack of 220 so that's two great skills on mage for single targets and also what makes a mage very good is its AoE attacks which are great in G GB the meteor rain is 60 ability power and it can hit two to five times so 120 to 300 hit attacks on three people so when multiple mages use it you can pretty much count on killing a few people in GB so now that we discussed why mage is good for killing single targets or multi targets its main weakness is the mage, the mage starts out with very low base health so because of that, it's uh, uh, how easy it is to kill as a mage, it is also same time easy to die as a mage. Because you're starting with lower health, so you know in GB you start off with EE just so you can use your attack. After that EE, you're already down 30% of your health. And that other 70% is not, uh, is not even close to the other classes, so it's really easy to die in GB. So that's why when playing a mage, you have to know when to go high defense or high M defense or balance based on your opponents. So those are the basic things. And of course, if, when you look at the traits, mage gets a huge boost when fighting against paladins. And you know how uh, tanky paladins can be. So that's one big plus going as a mage. Always can take, always can count on taking down a pally unless they've proc their reflex in which case you're in big trouble <laughs> alright so I know many wanted to see what type of staffs a mage should carry so I'm gonna show you my equipments so as you know mage has many skills that needs proccing and the most versatile skill to be used is Magical Testament because it can proc any of the mage skills that you're using. <laughs> Sorry. So the best Magical Testament you can have is Magical Testament XXL because that procs at a good rate and it does the most damage. Moving on, there's the regular XXL proc and uh, Nick's favor, which is also a XL proc. Um, uh, not like some mages don't use this, but I tend to use it. I use the secret of the staff XL. It's the RGB staff. Um, personally, I feel it's a good staff to have because it has a really good proc rate because it's a heart. It procs heart, and heart tends to have higher proc rate but they tend to have a lower range in your damage output. So if you want if you want a good proc rate and okay damage, I say go this way, but if you can if you rather have a wider range in your damage, 
but a less proc rate, then you'd choose Excel. Uh, Magical Testament Excel. And so, yeah. And then another good staff to have is the Constant Staff. Really great staff for GB, uh, especially for if you're doing a CB Mage build. Two Constant Staffs and your CB damage will be really high. Not the best for if you're playing frontline mage because frontline mage you want to have the consistent proc chances so what what would be an ideal build for runs so I'll show you what I usually use for runs so first of all I use the Nyx staff as the main uh, Nyx, Nyx hat in the main slot as well and the next uh, dress in the other main slot because as you know uh, having the next gear together you get the next blessing which is 10% increase in M attack and here after that point you can either if you're really low in defenses or M defense you can put regular armors and hats in or stuff but <laughs> if your defense and M defense is already high I say it's better to add in more procs just because quest monsters don't hit too hard so I usually end up doing this, going to, uh, an extra proc in hats and two extra procs in uh, armor slots. And for pets, I wasn't that lucky enough to pull that many Valks or have I Aizen or Neza or such. My main go-to pet is Valk. And in occasional times I use Ama based on the situation. And Marduk... I usually don't use, but mostly it's uh, Valk when it comes to my go-to pet. So that kind of covers up my stuff. And I think we're about to start a run and you can see what type of skills I use in runs. When you have a good cleric to trust, it's always oh, good, no. good to use EE. Um, and I always use Meteor and Photon Crush and Skewered. All right, I think mm. we're about to start our run. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello. So <laughs> on on our run right now we have Sienna, uh, Vixen, and Sona with us. Uh, I think most of you know Vixen as Leoj. Hello. Yeah, like, are you gonna be baby cleric? Or, I mean, baby mage? Or are you gonna be cleric? Make cleric. Do you guys wanna die or no? No, no, no. cleric. <laughs> 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 All right. So, I get, wait. You wanna set it up, Leoch? Uh, okay. I'll start it from. Yeah. Okay, I'll start it so we can pug one person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and everyone, feel free to ask questions on the comment below. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions for me after this video is done, just post in the comment section and we'll try our best to answer them. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Hey. Alright, everyone ready? Ready. Yeah. And I'm um, starting now. And we're going to ask some questions to Ro during the round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have any questions? Just start off. Uh, not right now. You can go in. Me? You can go. Yeah, you can go. Sona, I know you have some have questions. questions? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll ask the first question. Um, do you think mages are the best class? Why or why not? Ooh. I say mages can do a lot of things. They can. No, like, you're not answering my question, though. <laughs> mages the best me class personally, class. I think mages the best class. You don't need to be me political about it. <laughs> me personally, I think mages best class. Uh, why? Why? Because they can yeah. do everything you need in the whole game. They can either tank if you go a tank build. They can DPS. They can play CB. They can heal even. So, they're right, the most versatile you then. in doing everything. <laughs> Alright, I'm oh, not okay. healing Ro, guys. Well, okay. um, and that leads on to my second question, actually. Mm. 
Um, do you oh, think no. it's better? Wait, Rose almost dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> really, guys? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no one's gonna die, guys. No one's um, gonna die. <laughs> that leads on to my second question, though. So, is it better to go tank DPS or, um, or DPS? Sorry, is it better to go tank mage or DPS mage guild battles? Guild battle. Well, it depends what your team needs. Um, but most of the time, uh, it, it should be DPS, DPS, because if you can't kill as a mage, then what's the point of being the mage? Ooh. Oh no. Did anyone bring Banshee? Uh, mm -hmm. nope. You guys can nope. just go out. Uh, I guess we'll just... the usual Lily on Nezha. Uh, anybody else have questions for Ro? Oh, Ro. When, okay, since Annie mentioned it, why does all mages or most mages prefer a Banshee as a buff? Like well, the Banshee buff? Banshee, not only does it, it do four stacks of M attack, it also increases your ability power by 30 points. So instead of your uh, skewer being 110, Per hit, it's doing 140 per hit, which in the end equip probably leads to 20k more damage without a proc. I'm not sure, I have to check on those numbers later. <clears throat> but overall, it increases your DPS by a good bit. Oh, I realized I got a drop. I oh, I did get a oh. drop. Yeah, I'm Okay, so I have a question for you. So what are some ways to um, increase magic attack aside from stats? Aside from stats, increase your magic attack? Well, mm -hmm. you can always use books if you don't have stats mm -hmm. to increase your magic attack. But other options <laughs> include <laughs> plusing. Plusing, um, yeah. And there's pets, right? Yep. And then um, there's also infusion. Mm -hmm. Just infusions, there are pluses, I think. Yeah. Uh, what's the traits, best pet? Class traits. What's the best pet currently that gives the most magic? The pet that gives the most magic attack? Mm hmm. Isn't it Valk and Banshee? <laughs> they give four what stacks. Is it? And it like just raw magic attack. Just raw. There's only yeah, it would just be it would just be a banshee because um, it boosts your ability power also. No, I meant like she your meant staff, like your, not your like staff. Yeah. Oh, no. I am confused. Kill it. It's okay, the pure stats. It's succubus. Succubus, yes. Yeah, oh, pure and, stats. Yeah, succubus. Yeah, pure stats. And how do you? Bro, uh, oh, I don't know. How do you get succubus? Uh, well, mm -hmm. that event is over, mm -hmm. but when it comes mm -hmm. back, it's the Dark Orb event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you need three Dark Orbs to take Succubus from SR to UR. Oh, one, I got a helm. One Dark Orb to make it SSR, and then two to make it UR. Would you suggest someone going as CB Mage to... Go that route and potentially get as much succubus as possible. Yes, CB mage, especially six succubus, and every slot filled with Nyx, Nyx favor, Nyx glory gear, and Nyx main slot, and and pluses if you have, and if it's even better if you have the constant staffs because since you're running so many Nyx, Nyx gear in the slots, you're going to proc a lot, so you don't have to rely on your staffs procs as much. So your your damage is gonna be so much higher just having constants in the slots. And maximum yeah, right now one. is two constants. So after two constants, the rest should just be XL or XXL or secret of the staff. I have some more questions. Wanna like do another one? Another run? Leo, do you wanna start? I'll bring Banshee this time. Okay. okay. 
All right, everyone ready? Yep. Are you eyes and roll ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ready. Mm-hmm. Oh, All right. Ready. Starting. Okay, starting now. Okay, so my question is, um, what do you think of pally mages? Okay, so pally mages, they're really good in Kalo. <laughs> because mm-hmm. no one expects you to be a pally mm-hmm. mage. And they save you for last. And that first round, you just wipe their whole team. One by one. With meteors. But don't you have to proc in order to wipe out their team? Yes, you do have to proc. <laughs> So what if you don't proc them? Well, you're still gonna live because they're never gonna attack you. That's tr- yeah, that's true. You never, and you can also heal heal yeah, a lot. Yeah, you can heal. But what I suggest is, if you do go Pally Mage, you should put more Nyx blessings in. I mean, Nyx gear in, so you actually can proc more. Since they're not focusing you on a tar- since you're not getting focused, you don't need that much defense or M defense. You just need to be able to kill. And what about for uh, GB then? GB, Pally Mage, mm, not that suggested because if you're fighting other mages, you're going to get one-shotted basically. <laughs> Unless your guild has a plan with the Pally Mage, you know, running cheer and charisma and stuff. That's the only reason I would see you to go Pally Mage. But other than that, I wouldn't suggest going Pally Mage. Anybody else have? I had a question. I forgot. <laughs> and another one. We're getting, oh so many... We're getting so many rares. Oh, lucky today. And if you guys notice, we like completely destroyed this Fenrir this time without it even (laughs) doing anything to us. So Banshee made a huge difference. That's true. I didn't get a drop. Do you guys get a drop? I got a drop. Nope. I didn't get a drop. No. I did. Um... What is one way where mages can kill a Lancer before the Lancer? You better... Well, it depends on who's the Lancer and who's the mage. <laughs> Just say, like, the highest Lancer and the highest... Like, who, like how can you make it so the mage kill the Lancer? Oh. Um, hmm. I'll go into that. That's interesting. Wait, someone has the Ama, because... We're like I'm gonna, oh, I'm nice. Okay. Um, hmm, let's think. Well, oh, actually, it's okay. The Knight, Knight's Bliss is fastest move in the whole game. So you kind of have to pro- hope to proc physical down to protect yourself. Or have your healer instantly heal you. But even then, if multiple mages, if multiple lancers attack, you have no chance of living. You just had to hope... Mm-hmm. That your if one of them lagged and your rain is faster than the blitz, but chances of that are very slim. But there is a chance that it works out because rain animation compared to blitz is only a few milliseconds uh, uh, slower. So there is a possibility rain hits faster than blitz if the lancer is slower. I got a armor. I got Azurus. I'm done with this event. <laughs> <laughs> well, any more questions? Annie, do you have more of your questions? Leo, do you have any more questions? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Hmm. I think that's everything. I think Ro yeah, covered everything. Pretty much answered all my questions. Let me look yeah. at that Lancer oh, Blitz go. I said it was 220 earlier. I, I want to make sure. For it. It's 210, and with the class bonus, it's 220. So Knight's Blitz in damage is equivalent to Skewered in damage. So something to remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, 
Oh, my last question to you is, what's a uh, mage's best? Mage's best what? Best mm. friend. Mage's best friend is another mage. Mm. <laughs> 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 mage's best friend. <laughs> I'm going with another mage. <laughs> no, the reason why I say that is because you can just solo runs on your own with yeah, that's just true. a healer. Like that. You don't like need anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to answer with Banshee. <laughs> mage's, best like friend is mage's best friend is Nessa. You won't die. I was you can that kill that right after an answer Nessa. With, like, My favorite is Indra. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it for now. If you have any more questions or want me to make more of these videos on other classes, let us know and we'll continue this. Yay. Yay. Like, 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 comment, subscribe. Yep. <laughs> Thanks right. for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.